How can you make your own issue tracker? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you how you can make your own issue tracker template in Excel or Google Sheets, and what components to include to either use with or replace Jira. To save yourself time, you can also download and customize our issue tracker template as well. For an issue tracker that works like Jira, you need to plan out, assign, manage, report, and track the progress across a series of competing issues, whether they be new features, bugs, recurring weekly tasks, or user experience overhauls. Issue trackers are vital for any industry. As a recent Gartner survey found 88% of boards regard cybersecurity as a business risk rather than a solely technical IT problem. But you don't need fancy issue tracker software to manage your workflows. This is an issue tracker spreadsheet template we created, and it's meant to complement whatever issue software system you use. To make ours, we started by making an issue list to track open tickets, then divided the list into a report section for whoever opens the ticket and a resolver section for whoever is assigned the ticket. Reporters can either be internal team members or external customers who experience issues. A chart at the top shows resolver availability, so managers know whose schedule is the most open to assign new issues. And each ticket has its own ID key, which can be defined by us or the ticketing software that we use. Then, its type is listed, whether it's a bug, new feature, task, subtask, story, or epic, which is an issue ticket that represents an overarching project that is broken down into specific tasks that are called user stories. Epics help team leads manage the user journey and bucket-related tasks. User stories are requests and needs in a customer's user journey. So if you're a PM that needs to manage a huge project, you place it in an epic, which is then broken down into stories, tasks, and subtasks. Your issue tracker list should sort issues by type. In our example, we define these inputs in the Fields tab here. Your Fields tab should also define the priority levels of your issues, who can open a ticket, the stages of your workflow, and the status of tickets, i.e. issues. So how do you visualize your issues? Now that you've loaded all the issues onto an issue list, you need a way to visually track all these issues. In our example, we provide three visualizations, a bug board, a dashboard, and a Gantt chart. Remember, if you like these visualizations, you can download and customize our issue tracker template we created below. So let's say you wanna follow the agile framework that Jira uses. This bug board utilizes a Kanban visualization that works with the agile management style to sort issues by workflow stage. Following Kanban style, they are color-coded to signify their priority level. In Agile, the simplest workflow format is to have a backlog stage, an in-progress stage, a code review or quality assurance stage, and then a complete stage. You should also provide some filters like we did at the top, especially if you are a manager or working with multiple team members so individuals can filter for their most important metrics. Speaking of those, you'll also want to create some sort of dashboard to make issue tracking easier. In our template, we created pie charts to track issues by their status and priority, as well as charts to track issue age, how many of each issue type is open, and all sorts of other helpful metrics for PMs. These metrics are vital, as Gartner predicted that at least 50% of C-level executives will have performance requirements related to cybersecurity risk built into their employment contracts by 2026. So tracking these metrics are vital not just for you, but for your boss and your boss's boss, and maybe even your boss's boss's boss, depending on how many people work at your company. An alternative visualization to Kanban would be a Gantt chart. Gantt charts visually track the progress of your workflow across time, not just across stage. So you can assess how long each issue takes across each stage. In our variation, each issue type is color coded and the type names are editable in the fields tab. As team members make progress on their individual issues, they can edit the progress bar of the active stage by changing the percent to completion next to the bar. This provides accountability for the whole team, so progress is made on active tickets. And that's all you need to create your own issue tracker template in Google Sheets or Excel. Now, if you prefer, you can download ours to save yourself time and hours of work. For more tools to increase your team-wide productivity, go check out our video on our to-do list spreadsheet template. Thanks for watching.